This tutorial series brought to you by Cavoodle.com. Let's load settings onto the GH2. I'm going to use this card, which is the minimum card we need to load the highest quality uh, settings on the card. Uh, in order to get spanning, which means that you could keep recording till the card is full, you're going to need the 95 megabytes a second card from SanDisk. This is only the 45 megabits a second card and it's an 8 gig size. This is a lot slower than the 64 gig card um, which will allow you to span and, and keep recording till the card is full. Uh, this patch is around about a gigabyte of footage per minute so this card will get you around 8 minutes of footage. The first thing that you need is you need P tool, which if you go to the gh1-hack.info, um, the P tool software is available at the, the link. You're going to need to open it with the firmware. So on that same page, we see that Panasonic has links to the GH2, and we need the DMC GH2 1.1 software. So here it is. Accept the license agreement, click the, the download page. When you download that, you're going to extract the bin file, which is the actual firmware file that you're looking for, and open it in Ptool. So let's load the firmware. It should be gh2 underscore version 11 dot bin. So we open that up, and now you're going to see available patches, which are now settings for Ptool and You've got a bunch of bot buttons at the bottom that are for basic settings. We're not going to set any settings for this. We're just going to load Driftwood's latest patch, or his, they're not patches anymore, they're settings, and then go from there. So let's go find that. If we go to personal view, personal-view.com uh, slash talk slash discussions, we get. Driftwood usually has a thread post near the top. If you can't find it, you can search for it in the the current topic that we're going to is the Driftwood Quantum X V3B Rocket dash V4B Orion. Uh, we're going to put Orion on since that's the, the highest quality settings at a constant near bitrate. So if we scroll down, there will be a zip file that will be Orion. So we're going to download that zip file, open it up, and inside you're going to see uh, a file called setg.ini. What we need to do is put the the INI with the settings, we need to put that in the same directory as the P tool ex executable. So you just need to drag and drop or um, extract it to the same directory P tool is in. Now, if you simply click the G once, it will say settings loaded. And that means you can double check it by clicking on patches for, for users and double clicking through here and seeing that the bitrate is up higher. This says 154. So now that we know that the settings are indeed loaded, we're going to save the firmware and save it to a card. So we're going to take the card here, our uh, little SanDisk card, and we're going to save it to the main directory of this card. So the, the top level directory. Okay, the important thing is, is that it needs to have the same exact name as well, not the same exact name, but it needs to be st structured the same. So GH2 underscore V11.bin was the version 1.1 firmware update. Just change the number on that to like, since this is your first hack for the camera, change it to V12 and save that file onto the top directory of the card. It should only take a couple of seconds and it will save on the card. So after we put the firmware on the card, we're going to put it into the GH2 like this with the camera off. And you need to make sure that your battery is full. Turn the camera on and hit the play button. It should load up a screen that says please wait and it will ask you if you want to start version up. And you click yes and it will start loading the patch onto the camera or settings onto the camera. Um, you shouldn't push any buttons on this camera and in about three minutes or two to three minutes uh, the firmware will be loaded.
In the next video, we're actually going to test the patches on the camera. So in the meantime, be sure to check out Cavoodle.com, our series sponsor, and you can visit their website on the link below.